Guys, Goroncroft here, and I'm here with the 1.8 snapshot video that was probably you could see that coming. I mean, I did a snapshot on 1.7, so why not do 1.8 as well? So here I am uh, at my small snapshot setup. It's actually quite big. You will see in a little bit. <laughs> but um, as you saw in my intro video thing, I'm going to go into game mode one again. Uh, here I bounced on a trampoline. Now how could that possibly be the case? Well if you can read you would have seen this sign that says slime blocks because underneath the carpets are slime blocks and slime blocks are new blocks in Minecraft. They remove fall damage and they are bouncy and awesome. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, you craft them like this this is your average crafting table, it creates a slime block out of slime balls, you know how slime balls you get those from slimes which spawn in slime chunks and in uh, swamps so that's pretty much that now there's um, probably in the code that uh, when, when you walk off slime blocks you're slower, you're pretty much slowed down to uh, the same speed as when you would be shifting and uh, this um, works when you're walking on a carpet that's on top of it but even when you walk on a slab that's on top of a, uh, a slime block you get the slowness um, now the funny thing about the carpet is that you still get the bouncy effect uh, you don't get that with the slab you also take fall damage when you fall on the slab so that doesn't work sadly but with the slowness um, you can make uh, some cool things like this road it seems like an average road, but when you walk on it, you are slowed down, which is pretty useful for when you're being, um, like when you, uh, when you're being chased by someone. You could make a road like this, and like maybe one part is not slowing you down, so you can walk on that part, and then he walks on the other, and he gets slowed down, and you can escape the chase scene, or maybe you are just this is just your road to your castle. And somebody's attacking you and you can just stand on the other side of the road shooting him with arrows and he won't be able to reach you as fast as usual because he's being slowed down by slime blocks so that's pretty good and of course the trampoline <laughs> which is pretty freaking awesome now next up there's three new um, all block things I guess you could call them they're called diorite andesite and granite um, the only thing I know in real life is granite I think maybe if I would get the Dutch translations of these I might know them but I'm not sure but uh, I'm starting with the diorite because that's the pretty much the main block yeah I think uh, you craft it like this uh, with one cobblestone and one other quartz in a uh, checkerboard um, pattern Can come up with a word but pattern and so you put quests like this you can switch around those but they need to be in a checkerboard pattern and when they are you can craft the diorite block uh, they also spawn in the world uh, like if you have a not super flat world they will spawn in chunks uh, same kind of chunks as coal uh, same goes for the other two they spawn in the same kind of chunk as coal, uh, coal so the same size uh, now to craft and andesite, you need to have your diorite and you just add another cobblestone and it will make andesite. And to make granite, you add a nether quartz to it, to the diorite. And you will get the granite and of course for this one you get the andesite. Now when you put four diorite, granite or andesite in a square shape, you will get polished not smooth but polished uh, versions of the blocks and I accidentally put the wrong one here I just see but that doesn't matter uh, I think these blocks look pretty cool uh, kinda like um, well I don't know what they're like they're just really freaking cool to make uh, a road or 
something like that like uh, with these you can make a really I think this will these two especially will make oh if I grab the polished one at least uh, I think uh, let's just quickly check that out I probably should have checked this before but I'm only coming with it up with it now and I think this is a really nice a new way of doing checkerboard uh, roads and it's turning night time uh, time day time set day there we go so yeah uh, that's pretty much the new all ish kind of blocks uh, now next up is new crafting recipes for blocks that were earlier only able to be found in generated structures that's quite a mouthful but I said it anyway. Uh, you can cr now craft mossy stone brick by grabbing a stone brick and some vines. It will create a mossy stone brick. Um, these are, by the way, things I don't like. Uh, I think these were rare blocks and they should stay rare because, like uh, previously, when you made a house with mossy stone brick in them or chisel stone brick, uh, you really had a pretty expensive and good house because you had those rare blocks in in your house you know that's so cool but now you can just craft them like this and chisel stone brick can be crafted with two stone brick slabs on top of each other and make a chiseled stone brick next up is the new furnace furnace now saves uh, the level where it was cooking so I placed the stick in here and it was starting to cook but of course one stick isn't even enough to uh, cook up uh, one entire block it does like have a uh, smelting session so this stops smelting and normally the arrow would just go blank and you will have to start all over again but now not anymore it just saves it like this and um, once you're done uh, of, well once you have your resources back like wood or coal or whatever you can just add it again and it will continue to smelt your thing but I do think that when you grab out yeah, when you pull out your items it does reset it so it's only for fuel um, the forums also said something about swamp trees uh, being less dull now so I just placed a random tree and put vines on it uh, because I'm in a super flat world and I can't really show um, a swamp tree being in a swamp biome so yeah that's pretty much that. Now there are new vi oh I thought I was in survival mode for some reason. That was kind of stupid. There are new villages added to the game, and with new villages, I don't really mean that they have new textures or anything like that. I mean that there are new sorts of villages, but they do have the same textures, which is kind of a shame, but still understandable because they all make sense in some way. Uh, so I'm just going to go to this village I found. And we will do the rest of the snapshot video there. Um, so let's actually start with talking about these new villages. Um, the traits of the village are less random and more useful. Or at least that's what the forum said. Because I've, I, I'm still seeing some traits like uh, shears for uh, animals. You have to pay emeralds to get shears. Well, shears aren't really the most expensive things to make, of course. Unless you don't have iron and you do have emeralds. Which would be kind of weird, but still, pretty, pretty, uh, less, less, m m more useful traits. Um, the villagers uh, will now start ha with having two to four traits. So, as you can see, this blacksmith, or weaponsmith, uh, now actually has two traits from the beginning on. Uh, well, previously, um, villagers always had uh, one trait, and you ha will have to unlock any ones. Uh, there are more professions of villagers, but they don't have new skins. Like I already said, uh, they all still look the same, but they have new names. And the names are now also shown in the Gwai, or however you pronounce that. So there, here you can see this is a leather worker, and this is a fisherman, a librarian, and you can see like Fletcher. You can see all the different trades for all the different villages they all have their own name um, now there are a new trades added and some I think are a little bit overpowered and some I think are pretty freaking cool 
Um, so let's just get started. I have a small list in front of me. Um, oh yeah, by the way, the form also said that traits are easier to unlock. So um, that's probably meaning uh, I remember trying to unlock new traits on villages and having to do the last trait all over and over again in order to get the new trait to unlock. So I guess that's kind of fixed. Um, but anyway, some noticeable traits. Um, that librarian is now by stacked written books, so uh, you have to stack the written books on top of each other. Like, I haven't really seen it yet, but I think it's like, like multiple books for one emerald instead of just one book. Um, uh, are uh, the purple villagers, which I think are the priests, now sell lapis, and you will see why in a bit because lapis actually got a little bit more useful than it used to be. But they sell lapis and, and they buy ender pills and rotten flesh. Now that's uh, something a lot of people probably like it, but I don't because I'm that kind of guy. Uh, I don't like this thing because it's really, really overpowered. It makes getting ender pills way too easy. And yeah, that's just my opinion. If you have a different opinion about it, I'm fine with it, but I just don't really like this. Um, the farmer, um, oh wait, the brown people, so that's um, the new people with the brown robes, are the fishermen, the, the, the farmer and the fletcher, I couldn't really read my own handwriting, um, the fisherman buys fishes, duh, and he sells enchanted fishing rods, that's some of the notable, noticeable things I saw on the wiki. Uh, the farmer buys pretty much everything you can farm, from melon blocks, to potatoes, to carrots, to wheat, and all stuff like that. Uh, pumpkins, I think. And the farmer sells pumpkin pie and cake. So that's pretty cool as well. The white butcher, so that's... Um, I don't really know why I called him white butcher, because it's just the guy with the white overcloak thingy. He's the butcher, as you can see. Uh, there's no other things for the white guy, he's just... Uh, only butcher, there are no other sp specifications for him. Uh, he buys leather and meat and he sells leather armor. But the buying leather and the selling leather armor are new, so that's why they are in my noticeable traits list. And he still buys the meat as you can see. Um, then you have the guys with the black o overcloak, which are the armorer, the toolsmith and the weaponsmith. Now, this guy is a weaponsmith, and as you can see, he sells axes, because axes are apparently more weapons than tools. Uh, which makes sense, because they're also the most damage-dealing tool. And, like, I mean, Assassin's Creed 3, Tomahawk, best weapon ever. <laughs> um, but anyway, the armor, uh, the weaponsmith, because we are standing in front of weaponsmith, I bet... I guess we talk about the weaponsmith. The weaponsmith sells iron, uh, diamond, uh, iron and diamond uh, web weapons, so swords and axes. And I think also enchant one. Hey, look an iron golem. Just spawned there, completely random. Um, I think enchanted as well, but I'm not sure. Um, the armorer, and let's see if we can find one. Maybe I don't know. Not really seeing any other black cloaked guys so i think there's one over here no not even over there oh, well never mind then uh the armorer sells armor like which just just enchanted diamond iron and chain mule armor so that's pretty cool this door's going crazy over here what's going on guys okay those guys are just mad and then of course we still have the toolsmith which and uh, sells enchanted iron and diamond tools, which are pickaxes and shovels, I think. That's all. And then I have a big, uh, big thing over here to mark this house that I don't, won't forget. Because here I have, like, some houses with special announcements in it. Um, this is a crafting recipe of a door. You can make a door with any kind of wood, uh, just like you used to. Or, of course, an iron door. But now, when you make it uh, like this, you would get three doors, or iron doors, if you would make it with iron. 
And also the doors now stack up to 64, as you can see. We have 64 doors in our inventory. So that's really, really nice. I um, kind of waited for that to finally be in an update, because that's... It, it makes sense. It's not weird that doors can stack. But anyway, uh, next up we have like, difficulties are locked per world. If you go to options, you'll see the difficulty is peaceful here. And if I go to another world, it will be different there. Uh, or, well, it will probably be peaceful because I put most of my worlds on peaceful. But say I would go to another world and change the peaceful into easy and go back to this world, it will still be peaceful. And also you can actually lock it. So set, uh, you can lock the difficulty and you won't be able to change it again. Uh, next up here we have this small announcement. Carrots only heal one and a half meat thingies, so that's 300 points. Oh gosh, I have visitors, I should quickly finish this up. Um, and um, potato, cake, baked potatoes only heal five, so two and a half meat pop thingies. Um, they changed the enchanting system a bit. I'm kind of finishing up because I have to go almost, probably. Uh, enchanting now costs lapis lazuli, and um, unless you're in creative calls. Um, and when you enchant something, you can see it costs one, two, or three lapis. Um, and you can see the enchantment that you're most likely going to get. And say I don't want sharpness, well too bad, you will always get sharpness. Pretty much, unless you enchant something else, then you will actually get something else. So, um, that's pretty much it for the enchanting, I think. Um, pretty much still cost the same levels for what you get. Uh, one enchantment is displayed, I talked about that. Um, yeah, the enchantment that is locked onto a certain tool only for that player, so one, another player can still get a different enchantment. Um, and it's locked until you enchant something, as I showed. Uh, leveling up takes longer, it says. Uh, so it takes longer to get to level 30, so that's kind of too bad, but I mean, if you have an enderman farm, it's not really too bad. I'm going to make it day again. Um, Level 5 enchantments are now lo no longer limited to combining tools with anvil, so you could get efficiency 5 out of the enchantment table. Now also the anvils have been changed, uh, it's cheaper to do stuff so you won't get the too expensive thing. Um, my mom's calling me. Heel even! Come on! So it, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, we have visitors and I have to come downstairs, so... Um, anyway, the uh, it's cheaper to do so, and also naming it will only cost one level per time. So I remember wanting to name my sword something, and it cost 38 levels to give it a name. So that's kind of bullshit. So now for the last thing that I quickly have to show. If you go into a boat and you fall on top of other blocks the boat will break so that's why I made this um, the boat breaks and um, if you have a drop that's more than three blocks high and you fall down then the boat will break if you fall on, to, on, on top of a solid block if you fall into the water it's fine but anyway that's pretty much it for this snapshot video sorry I have to end it so quickly but I really gotta go um, so leave a like if you liked and this video and Leave a subscribe if you want more of this. I am going to play the hardcore let's play in these snapshots, so stay tuned for that. Look forward to it. I'm probably going to start tomorrow, so that's gonna be pretty nice. So I've been Goroncraft, thank you guys for watching, and bye!